are parts of our lives that are very boring. The banality may come from a repetition, a lack of interest, or maybe doing a task for which you feel overqualified. This is a story about the mundane parts and finding beauty there. Okay, TF, tell us what we're doing. Well, after two months, we are moving the Flamingo Palace. The trailer's been in one place for two months, and it's, uh, it's ready to go. So we are driving to central Washington. We're gonna go see an old high school friend of mine, a guy I haven't seen for many, many years, probably not since the Clinton administration. So we got Mike here, we got Hampton in the back. We're gonna go see my friend Chuck Jordan and his wife, Scotia and he specializes in raising miniature porterhouses. I think they're the full-size porterhouses. He raises beef cattle. Yeah. So he raises ribeyes and T-bones. But it's calving season, and so there's going to be some little miniature ones. I love babies. So it's about a two-hour drive, and we've got about another hour to go. It's going to be dark by the time we get there, and I understand there's pizza waiting for us. I love pizza, too. Okay, here we go. So to recap, we've put $100 worth of premium unleaded in our truck and we're driving two and a half hours away from our home base to get up at 2 a.m. and check on cattle to see if there's any babies and feed them. Chuck and Scotty are going to let us park in their driveway. They've pulled an electrical cord out so we can plug in. We've got our home, we've got our cats, and we've got an adventure. Feeding cattle. We're here with my friend Chuck Jordan. Good morning. Chuck's Good morning. Chuck's gonna take us out and show us his herd and see if there's any little baby cows laying on the ground. So is that, is that what you do? That's what I do. Okay, so he gets up at 2 a.m. this time of year. Yep. And looks for cattle. And who's this? This is Arthur. He's the official cow dog. All right, Arthur looks like he's excited. All right. We're bouncing along on the four wheeler tonight and it's a little uncomfortable. In fact, it's so cold, my face actually hurts. We can hear the coyotes howling in the distance and it makes me a little nervous. It's really an amazing opportunity to be out here in nature, to see the beautiful stars in the sky and spend time with our friend. Did you used to do this with your dad? Yeah, once in a while. <laughs> they must be used to this. Yeah, they're very used to me being out here. So how many of your friends like to come over and do this? Hang out in the middle of the night and check cows? You guys are kind of a first. <laughs> We're the first. <laughs> all right, we'll see you at seven then. We'll do it all over again. All right. All We're right. going to do it again at seven. <laughs> Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in one day. So much nicer when the temperature's like this. Yeah. Started our eyes. We let go of disgust. Hey, 
did you ever think about doing anything else or was it always going to be farming for you? You know, I think it was always intended I was going to farm. I mean, that's what I, I started this when I was a little kid and never really wanted to do anything else. Building castles out of sand, reaching for the ground. We've used this song in three different videos now. It's called Beauty in the Mundane by Bird of Figment. There will always be tasks that are boring and times that are mundane. Someday we'll all look back and there will be nostalgia for the people and circumstances that are gone. The challenge is to find the nostalgia now. It's hard sometimes, but we're getting better at changing our perspective to see things in new and interesting ways. My friend Chuck relishes the variety that comes to him on his farm in the changing of the seasons and the life cycles of the cattle and the crops. Chuck also has a YouTube channel. You can check it out, it's called Life Behind a Cow. There's a link to his channel in the description below. Thank you for watching this episode of Trish and TF, plain and simple.